Number 10. Ocean Giants In 2017, footage was recorded that showed that a diver was in control of a remotely operated vehicle when he discovered one of the greatest mysteries of the ocean ever. At the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, sitting over 2,500 feet below sea level, he found the skeleton of an unidentified beast estimated at over 100 feet in length. The giant skeleton seems to be the remains of a mythical sea serpent. Not a single scientist has been able to identify the preposterously large skeleton, with most admitting it's nothing like anything that's ever been found before. The skeleton was spotted in the middle of a vast undersea community of tiny animals like crabs and shellfish. The man operating the underwater vehicle filmed what looked to be a spinal column lying in the muck at the bottom of the sea. The column is attached to some larger bones, but it's impossible to tell what they look like because it's so murky down there. The diver tried to use the claw mechanism on the craft to lift up one of the bones, but it crumbled to dust the moment it was touched by the metal. The problem now is that the skeleton can't be transported to the surface because it will literally disintegrate. There's no way to properly document it, to know how long the skeleton has been down there, or to find out just what kind of mysterious beast it once belonged to. Some speculate that it is the skeleton of a sea serpent, or perhaps a dinosaur from millions of years ago. That seems far-fetched, but no scientific explanation has solved this mystery so far. Number 9. The Bermuda Triangle The Bermuda Triangle is without a doubt the most mysterious place in the ocean. At least, that is when it comes to missing vehicles and unidentified flying objects. According to legend, supernatural phenomenon have been occurring here for centuries. There are stories of cancer patients being resurrected in the waters of the Bermuda Triangle, of strange underwater pyramids, and of ships and airplanes vanishing into thin air. But how much truth is there to the legend? Yes, over 50 ships and at least 20 aircraft have disappeared from the Bermuda Triangle. However, nobody has actually been resurrected. One of the most famous cases of mysterious vanishing was in December of 1945, when the US Navy's Flight 19 group, composed of five torpedo bombers, disappeared without a trace while passing through this area of the ocean. The weather got too bad, the plane pilots got disoriented, and the planes lost contact with the command center. The airplanes went down somewhere east of Florida. The military dispatched rescue, but even to this day, the wreckage has never been confirmed as found. Number 8. Cape Cod Sea Serpent Something terrifying was recently spotted off the coast of Cape Cod, a potential sea serpent almost 1,000 feet long. People are always speculating about giant sea monsters living in our oceans, but it's rare to ever actually find one. The photograph of the sea monster was taken by an aerial photographer named Wayne Davis. He was flying over the Atlantic Ocean near the Nauset Beach Dunes when he saw the shadow of the beast and snapped a few quick pics of it. He had never seen anything like it in his life, though he did admit it kind of reminded him of a Chinese dragon. It was extraordinarily long. It seemed to have a tail much longer than its body, and it moved through the ocean like a snake. The big problem now is trying to figure out what the creature really was. Could it have been a truly gigantic sea beast that scientists don't know about? Or on the other hand, was it simply a shadow on the water that looked like a sea monster? Skeptics say one thing, true believers say something else, and the truth is hard to pin down. Number 7. The Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench is the deepest place in the world. It's located just off the coast of Guam, known to be one of the most unique environments on the planet. It goes down to a depth of over 36,000 feet, hosting some very bizarre sea creatures at the very bottom. The creatures who live at the bottom of the trench have adapted to living at pressures over 1,000 times more than what we experience on land. There are mud volcanoes, vents that spit out liquid sulfur, and who knows what else? It's true that in 2012, James Cameron descended to the bottom, or at least near the bottom, at 35,756 feet. However, he was only down there in a submarine for a handful of minutes. The Mariana Trench is over five times longer than the Grand Canyon. So as you can imagine, a few minutes at the bottom in one single spot with only one dim light of the submarine to locate sea creatures 
Well, they didn't really discover much. The truth is that nobody really knows what's at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Sure, they found some translucent sea cucumbers, copra small organisms, and shrimp scavengers, but the true beasts of the trench have yet to be identified. What do you think lies at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Tell me your ideas in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe if you haven't already for more amazing videos just like this one. Number 6. The Ocean Floor The ocean floor itself is almost as mysterious as the Mariana Trench and is itself almost entirely unexplored. According to the United States National Ocean Service, humans have explored less than 20% of our ocean. That means that we have over 80% of the surface totally unknown to us. That's about half of the Earth's surface that we know next to nothing about directly. Considering how many wild and unbelievable things we've already found, just try to imagine what's hiding out in these uncharted places on the sea floor. We actually know more about the surface of the moon than we know about the floor of the ocean. Recently, scientists have begun using hydrographic surveys to map the ocean floor. Still, even with the most impressive modern technology, the coastal waters of the US have only been 35% mapped. That means there is a whole world of sunken ships, sea monsters, and geological features that we know nothing about. Less than a mile from the American shoreline, if you want to explore the unknown, the ocean is a great place to start. What kind of mysteries do you think are still hiding on the floor of the ocean? Are there new species there that we've never discovered? Perhaps there are treasures that remain out there, waiting to be found someday. Number 5. The Underwater City of Japan Off the coast of Ryukyu Islands in Japan, one of the most mysterious things in the ocean has been captivating divers, geologists, scientists, and alien conspiracy theorists since it was discovered in 1987. The mystery revolves around a pyramid-like formation known as the Yonaguni Monument. It was uncovered by a diver 75 feet beneath the surface of the ocean. The pyramid is roughly 150 feet long and 60 feet wide, with most estimates placing it at least 10,000 years old. Nobody knows who built it. The Japanese government won't even admit that it's a man-made formation and some scientists have gone so far as to denounce the discovery altogether as conspiracy nonsense. But anyone who has actually dove down to look at the pyramid knows it's no joke. It clearly has steps that were carved out of massive blocks of stone. Some divers even claim to have found the ruins of what might be an ancient city. No matter which way you look at it, there is something mystifying going on off the coast of Japan and no mainstream scientists want anything to do with it. The best guess is that the pyramid was left behind by an ancient culture, while some more harebrained theories claim it could be the ruins of Atlantis. Number 4. New Sea Animal Paleontologists in Canada have discovered a new species of sea creature that looked like a football. The discovery goes to show just how mysterious life in our ocean is and has been for the past half a billion years. This new species has been dated back 500 million years to the Cambrian period. It was identified in a piece of shale in the Kootenay National Park up in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. But the real mystery isn't the fact that the sea fossil was found high up in the mountains, but that it was a literal giant for the time it was alive. According to jean Menard Caron, curator of invertebrate paleontology at the Royal Ontario Museum, the size of the creature is mind-boggling. It's one of the largest animals ever discovered from the Cambrian period. To give you a bit of a comparison, most sea creatures back then were roughly the size of your pinky finger. The football monster was almost two feet long, with a hard protective shell and a mouth filled with teeth. Oh, and don't forget the two spiky claws. It was a giant, over 10 times larger than just about every other creature. Paleontologists have no idea why the creature grew to such titanic sizes. They've since named it the Titanochorus, and they say it's a type of ancient arthropod. But just how it came to be so big will probably remain a mystery. Number 3. The Mega Shark Some people believe there is an ancient mega shark lurking in the deepest parts of the world's oceans, and it might be a leftover megalodon from millions of years ago. It's one of the most intriguing ocean mysteries of our time. 
The issue is that scientists say the Megalodon has been extinct for at least 3 million years. So the question becomes, could a predator more than 50 feet long still be lurking in our oceans without us knowing about it? Scientists say the answer is maybe. We know that very little of the ocean has ever been explored, but still, scientists say it's unlikely for a beast of that magnitude to go unnoticed by all the scientists on the planet. That being said, there are some strange discoveries that have suggested a mega shark could still be alive. In 1875, the HMS Challenger picked up a huge set of 4-inch teeth from a depth of 14,000 feet off the coast of Tahiti. Then in 1959, those teeth were estimated at only 11,300 years old. This would mean the Megalodon didn't actually go extinct when scientists thought so. But unfortunately, nobody has actually seen a mega shark in modern times, nor has a dead mega shark body ever washed up on shore or been pulled up from the deep in a fisherman's net. Number 2. The Immortal Jellyfish There are immortal jellyfish swimming in our oceans. As crazy as that sounds, it's absolutely true. The jellyfish has a kind of Benjamin Button syndrome, where it manages to age in reverse so that it never dies. The mystery of the immortal jellyfish, if ever solved, could one day not only eradicate cancer, but maybe even keep humans living longer than ever imagined. Here's what scientists know so far about the immortal jellyfish. It's only the size of a pinky fingernail. It was discovered in the Mediterranean Sea back in the 1880s and scientists only figured out its uncanny ability about 20 years ago. The jellyfish has a pretty boring life for as long as it goes on. It cheats death by transforming its cells to a previous younger state. According to Maria Pia Miglietta, a researcher from the Pennsylvania State University, it transforms its cells whenever threatened by starvation, physical harm, or some other kind of crisis. When it feels death is close, it literally changes its cellular structure so that it becomes younger. It reverts back to its original stage in jellyfish life, then grows old again. In this way, the jellyfish can theoretically grow old, turn back into a young creature, and grow old again forever and ever. As for why humans don't do that, well, we just aren't sure. Maybe someday we will be able to do just that. Number 1. The Creature with 8 Jaws Scientists have found a monstrous creature with 8 jaws that they've dubbed an evolutionary wonder. It's called the Ophiojura, a creature that looks kind of like a starfish but has too many mouths and too many hooks on its arms. If you've ever wondered how real Cthulhu is, just look at this thing. It's a very real monster, but its presence in the ocean is also something of a mystery. Scientists say its closest living relative is from the Jurassic period, back 180 million years before today. It's a totally new species never before identified, and scientists have no clue as to how it's managed to live so long. They don't even know how many of them exist. Plus, they're an anomaly. This eight-jawed critter hasn't evolved even a little bit in millions of years, which is pretty much unheard of for sea creatures. What's your favorite part of our mysterious oceans? Number 10. Mysterious Monster Skeleton A mysterious sea monster recently washed up on a British beach, prompting the public to ask, do sea monsters really exist? The truth is that sea monsters definitely exist. The ocean is still mostly unexplored. Scientists and fishermen are constantly finding new species, so who knows what else is lurking beneath the water covering most of our planet. A woman named Margaret Flippins was the one who stumbled upon the skeleton of this particular unknown creature while she was strolling along her favorite beach near the city of Aberdeen. The experts can't quite figure out what the creature is, or at least what it was in life. It's been estimated at 30 feet long, and it looks more like a dangerous sea serpent than any living animal we know anything about. The best guess that scientists can come up with is that the carcass belonged to a whale. That's it, just an ordinary whale. But there's no proof of this, or indeed proof that the monster will ever be certifiably identified. Many experts have come forward to say that it's perfectly plausible for some species of shark, whale, or other beast to be living in the ocean 
that we don't yet know about. The beached carcass may just be one of them. Number 9. Butterfly Creatures Hordes of little sea monsters recently washed up on beaches all across Dubai. So many of them were found scattered across local beaches that residents began to get worried. The Dubai municipality had to release a statement saying that the small monsters, which looked kind of like ocean butterflies, were completely harmless and not venomous. But even though these little creatures weren't deadly, they were extremely odd-looking. These marine animals belong to a family of sea butterflies, a subfamily of sea snails. Each one is less than a couple inches in length, with the body of the sea butterfly protected by a shell shaped like a needle. Unfortunately for them, they almost always die when they get swept onto dry sand. And even though they can't kill anyone, they do cause mild discomfort when they get stuck to people's bodies. But the biggest mystery that still hasn't been solved to this day is just why they wound up on so many beaches. They were spotted in five different places in huge clusters. Scientists have no idea what happened for so many of them to be washed ashore at once. Do you have any ideas? Number 8. The Sea Monster of 1884 In 1884, a 5-year-old girl named Jessamine Buck got the surprise of a lifetime when she came face to face with a sea monster while visiting a beach. Even as an old woman, the memory of the terrifying creature stayed vivid in her mind. Back in 84, Jessamine had to travel 25 miles from her home in Bucksport to the beach in Polly's Island, where she found the creature. Going to the beach was one of her favorite summertime activities. She had gone there with her older sister many times before, and her sister was with her the day of the discovery too. The two were looking at cot shells when suddenly, Jessamine noticed something huge and terrifying in the waves just beyond the shore. It had a yellow head, it was covered in whiskers, and the little girl screamed and ran away. According to her, the creature looked like a giant yellow dog swimming in the water. After she told her mother what had happened, the adults got involved and went to check out the beach. They too were shocked when they witnessed the very same creature lurking in the water just off the shoreline. Nobody had any idea what it was, and they all ran off in fear. It wasn't until later when they read the newspaper that they learned a sea lion had escaped from a Baltimore zoo. Either they really did meet a monster that day in 1884, or they simply saw a sea lion and didn't know what it was. Either way, it goes to show how just about anything, especially to someone who doesn't know any better, can look like a sea monster. Number 7. Mexican Blob Beast An unidentified monstrosity washed up on a tourist beach in Mexico and scared the pants, or should I say shorts, off everyone in attendance. So far, the experts have no idea what the strange creature was. It just kind of appeared out of nowhere on Bonfil Beach in the city of Acapulco. Spectators gathered around and took photographs, sharing evidence of the bizarre animal on social media. The one thing all the experts agreed on was that the animal had not been dead for very long before it washed up on the beach. Yet, despite being recently dead, it seemed to be in an advanced state of decomposition. It looked like a blob, a pile of gunk roughly 12 feet in length. Even stranger is the fact that the carcass didn't seem to give off a bad smell. If it had been something like a rotting whale or shark, it definitely would have stank, and it would have been a very unforgettable stench. The mystery has still never been solved to this day. The best guesses saying the carcass belonged to a whale or a squid. But as we've come to learn, every unidentified sea monster that washes up is conveniently labeled as either a whale or a squid. Number 6. The Real Life Kraken The Kraken is a real monster. It was spotted by humans as far back as the 1100s. King Sverre of Norway even wrote the details of his encounter with the Kraken while on a sea voyage. And while it's impossible to confirm a sighting made by a Viking king over 1000 years ago, real Kraken-like monsters have been seen in modern times. What we know of today as the giant squid is almost identical to how seafarers have been describing the kraken for centuries, leading researchers to say that the kraken and the giant squid are one in the same. 
1954, a giant squid was found beached near Ranheim in Norway. At the time, Professor Sven Haftorn measured the creature at over 31 feet in length. It was the biggest specimen ever recorded. Then, in 1873, a single tentacle was found that measured 19 feet, meaning the rest of the creature was even larger. The largest squid ever measured was just about 60 feet long. Over the past two centuries, barely any have washed ashore. The ones that have, scientists say they were just babies. This means the adults are comparable to descriptions of the Kraken, huge sea monsters with tentacles so long they could wrap around a boat. We just don't see them in modern times because, for one reason or another, they've gone into hiding. Do you believe in the Kraken? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. Toothy Creature A creepy sea monster with terrifying teeth washed up on a beach in Queensland, scaring the locals and baffling the entire internet. The discovery of the creature was made by a woman taking a leisurely stroll. She thought the monster looked like something out of a nightmare, so she took photographs of it and posted them on the local community Facebook page. People on the page identified it as either a flathead fish or an extremely poisonous stonefish. The creature had huge eyes bulging out the top of its head with thin, very sharp teeth lining its mouth. It almost looked like it was smiling, like it had finished doing something it really shouldn't have. After quite a lot of speculation, the creature was identified as a stargazer, of which there are about 20 species in the waters around Australia. It's an incredibly venomous monster, known for burying itself in the sand and waiting to ambush smaller fish. It's lucky the woman didn't touch the stargazer, as just one prick from the spines on its back can be deadly. We all know someone that probably would have touched it. Number 4. Slimy and Deadly A guy on TikTok almost died after filming himself licking one of the most dangerous sea monsters on the planet. It's extremely lucky that he walked away from that beach with his life. He goes by the name Alexa Reed, and he discovered the deadly creature while having a relaxing day at the beach. The thing was lying in the sand, wriggling a bit as it slowly died. Wanting to impress his online fans, this guy picked it up and then licked it. Why on earth he would pick some random sea creature up that he found on a beach and lick it is beyond me. He commented on the creature's light blue color and its yucky strands of tentacles. To him, it was just another boring old jellyfish. But again, why lick it? But to the people who watched this video and knew exactly what he was handling, it was the deadly Portuguese man of war, also sometimes called the floating terror. It has millions of stinging cells on its tentacles that it can use for killing fully grown humans. There are around 10,000 incidents in Australia every year from people getting stung by floating terrors. And although most of them aren't deadly encounters, as the stings are treatable if dealt with immediately. They do result in excruciating pain that lasts for at least three days, sometimes more. In the end, the TikToker threw the deadly creature away and continued on with his day. But he's lucky that he didn't end up spasming in the sand in unbelievable agony. Number 3. The Sniper Eel In Southern California, on a beach in San Clemente, a miniature sea serpent washed up on the beach and freaked out some local divers. The monster was a sniper eel, a creature that lives anywhere from 1,000 to 13,000 feet beneath the surface of the water. These are literal sea serpents, able to grow to a maximum of 5 feet in length. This one was just a baby, about half the maximum size, but it was still freaky and disturbing. Although not technically a serpent, the sniper eel looks like a skinny underwater snake. It's a terrible predator that lives in the depths alongside creatures like the anglerfish and other living monsters with bulbous eyes and sharp teeth. Nobody knows exactly how it floated from the dark recesses where it lived all the way to the California beach, but local experts said it was a very rare occurrence. Scientists don't even know that much about these creatures other than some of their physical characteristics. One of the most jarring things is that the creature has hooked backwards teeth that it uses for spearing shrimp. Number 2. Nightmare of the Deep A spooky fish washed up on a California beach, so monstrous 
that the people who found it couldn't even bear to look at it. The terrifying freak is called a Pacific football fish, a creature that looks oddly similar to the nightmare anglerfish in the movie Finding Nemo. And in fact, it is a species of anglerfish, one known for lurking in deep waters, at least 3,000 feet beneath the surface. According to the Crystal Cove State Park, where the ugly fish monster was found, to see any type of anglerfish washed up on a beach is very rare. They don't know how the creature ended up on shore, but they did give some interesting facts about it. Even though the football fish has teeth like sharpened fragments of glass, its mouth is so big that it sometimes doesn't even need to chew its prey. It can open its mouth and suck in prey larger than its own body. Number 1. A Rundown Whale The biggest and most incredible sea monsters that really do live in our oceans are definitely whales, and one of them was just found on a beach in San Diego. The whale, which was dead upon its discovery, is believed to have been hit by an Australian Navy ship. The huge corpse of the 58-foot behemoth washed up on Bolsa Chica State Beach. According to the beach spokesman Kevin Purcell, an investigation was launched and the US Navy actually came to see the whale themselves. It's believed that the whale was one of two endangered fin whales that was struck by the Australian Navy destroyer, the HMAS Sydney, just before it docked in San Diego. The two whales had needed to be dislodged from the hull of the vessel. One of them, apparently, made its way to the local beach. What's really horrifying is that even though whaling is no longer a big threat to fin whales, getting run over by boats still is. This really makes you wonder, what's the real sea monster? Is it the beasts living in the ocean or the human monsters sailing it? What's the most frightening monster you've ever heard of being found on a beach? Let us know about it in the comments. Number 8. Corsica Roman Burial Jars A group of archaeologists in Corsica, Italy were working at the Paule de Le Rose Square when they uncovered a necropolis with 40 bodies buried underneath it. Even though the area had been excavated during the 18th century, it wasn't until a team of French archaeologists set out to locate hidden treasures under the commune of the Ile Russe in 2019 that they made the discovery. Experts really only expected to find the remains of ancient buildings. Instead, they located the bodies of both children and adults. But these were no ordinary graves. Instead of being buried in a classic traditional coffin or sarcophagus, the bodies were placed inside amphora, which are tall clay jars with two handles and a narrow neck. In the Lower Empire, necropolises like the one found in Corsica were usually located next to a church, so it makes the discovery that much more surprising considering the area was a popular destination for those who came to visit the square with its shady palm trees at the Riviera style resort. This type of burial became popular in the Roman world because the demand for graves had increased, and amphora were an inexpensive way to bury the dead. But how did the ancient Romans obtain so many of these clay jars for burials? Amphora were produced from the 3rd century into the 6th century in Africa and were used to import goods such as wine, oil, or salted fish to the island. Because merchants didn't take the clay jars back with them when they returned to their point of origin, Corsica ended up having a surplus of ceramics, using them to store various items and eventually, they also became makeshift tombs. The unique burials might seem like a gruesome way to bury the dead, but the infant mortality rate in Roman times was high, which meant that a large quantity of amphora were needed to give them proper burials. Number 7. Chimu Sacrifices Teams digging close to Peru's third largest city made the gruesome discovery of the world's largest child sacrifice site. While digging near the beachside town of Trujillo, archaeologists excavated 227 young victims of the Chimu culture. Aged between 4 and 14, the children were found facing the sea, which experts think may indicate they were sacrificed to appease the El Niño phenomenon, which would have impacted the local coastline and endangered the ancient people. The bodies were found at the site of Juan Chaco, which had been well known as a place where many cheeky sacrifices took place between the years 1200 and 1400. 
The group of ancient people believe that by placating the gods to have mercy and safeguard them from rain and floods, the Chimu people had to sacrifice their children during wet weather. Even though experts found important artifacts including silver earrings, they also found the children's footprints had remained intact with signs they were marched to their deaths from a massive ancient adobe site a mile from where they were buried. After carefully removing the remains, archaeologists found the telltale signs of ceremonial knife wounds on the bodies, as well as dislocated rib cages that may mean the Chimu tried to remove the children's hearts before sacrificing them. Sadly, the sacrifices didn't seem to make much of a difference. The region is still devastated by the effects of El Niño to this day, making the ritual sacrifices of so many children that much more devastating. Number 6. Kengo Temple Located near the city of Cusco, an Incan archaeological site known as the Kengo Temple has been whispered about for decades. Located at the temple there is a monolith, a single block of stone cut into a defined shape. It was declared a cultural heritage site by the National Institute of Culture in Peru. The secret to the design of the monolith can be found in the temple's name, which means labyrinth. Because the Inca left no written records, researchers had to guess why the stone at the Kengo Temple was cut into a zigzag shape. And as researchers continued to study the site, they determined the giant stone labyrinth may have been used to carry liquid. But the type of liquid still remains a mystery. Some believe it could have been used for holy water or maybe even corn beer made by the Inca. A more gruesome theory is that the Kengo used the labyrinth during blood sacrifices, allowing the blood to transfer down the tiny canals during death rituals performed by the ancient people of Cusco. Located about 3 miles from Cusco, around 12,000 feet above sea level, the monolith's ceremonial purpose becomes even more plausible when you consider the fact that the dead might have been judged at the site, with some even embalmed in the many chambers and tunnels found in the temple. Experts believe one of the interior niches of the structure may have been used as an amphitheater where the ancient Inca may have gathered to witness sacrifices to either the moon or the sun, two planets worshipped by the Inca at the time. Although experts have not confirmed that the monolith at Kengo was used for sacrifices, much of the evidence points to that as the purpose of the site. Without any written records, researchers continue to guess at the purpose of the site and whether it was for ritualistic purposes or simply an area where the ancient Inca gathered. What do you think this labyrinth-like shape was used for? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. Temple People of Malta a group of people from Malta, known as the Temple People, have been the subject of study for centuries. As archaeologists continue to excavate the burial complexes they left behind, they are trying to piece together the mystery of why these people survived for so long, only to suddenly vanish. During the excavations, researchers discovered evidence that the settlers from Sicily arrived in the area, bringing goats, cows, sheep, and crops to develop their villages. Objects left behind by these ancient people included phallic shapes and fertile figurines as symbols of sensuality. They also developed an obsession with building temples, some of which ended up surviving long enough to become the oldest freestanding stone structures in the world. They erected more than 30 temple complexes over their 1100-year history, including intricate burial complexes where lavish rituals of animal sacrifice were undertaken. The temple people were also known for their elaborate artwork including hundreds of statues of fertile, quote-unquote, fat ladies among the rich cultural artworks left behind. One of the underground burial complexes known as the Shara Stone Circle is estimated to have housed between 6,000 and 7,000 individuals in its heyday circle and took over a decade for experts to study. 
While excavating the burial practices of the temple people, experts discovered that they often buried their dead deep inside natural caves where they lived, with the bones of one generation placed on top of the others. As the culture developed, the burial complexes were modified by being extended and divided into rooms for additional burials. Later, large pits that housed hundreds of individuals whose bones were separated, stored, and stacked on top of one another became a strange new way for the temple people to bury their dead. One of the most striking revelations came when experts discovered a grave pit that housed only male body parts. There were no grave gifts left in the pit, leading experts to believe the society was more of a matriarchal one with women ruling over men. With such a rich culture of art, sculpture, and unique burial rituals, we can't help but wonder why the temple people had such a rich cultural history only to eventually vanish. Some experts believe that their remote island environment, along with their reliance on trading with other cultures for goods, may have been their ultimate downfall. What do you think? Number 4. Lost Iraqi Temple Experts working in the Kurdistan region of northern Iraq were surprised to find life-size human statues and the column bases of a long-lost temple built to a supreme god. Dating back over 2,500 years to the Iron Age, the temple ruins were found with inscriptions that referred to the city of Musasir, who ruled the region at the time in what was nicknamed the City of the Raven. Inscriptions also reference Haldi, who was the supreme god of the kingdom and who the temple was built for. A carving at the site showed the ancient city looking very much like modern Iraqi homes, with their doorways on the ground floor, which was used as a stable and storage area. As archaeologists continued to excavate around the long-lost temple, they found a number of life-size human statues standing up to 7.5 feet tall. They were made from limestone or sandstone depicting bearded males, some of whom held daggers in their hands. The statues were originally erected above burials, which experts hope might eventually help them to locate burial crypts where the Iraqis were believed to bury their chieftains. Other interesting finds at the location include bronze statuettes and cuneiform inscription that researchers are continuing to study. They hope to learn more about the holy city founded in bedrock during the Iron Age, a time when the Urartians, Assyrians, and Scythians fought over what is now northern Iraq. Number 3. Ancient Buddhist Temple Could an ancient Buddhist temple discovered in Bangladesh belong to a mysterious saint? An archaeological team of Bangladeshi and Chinese experts worked together to uncover a 1,000-year-old temple in India that was dedicated to Atish Dipankar, who was a Buddhist master, scholar, and philosopher. Experts believe the temple was discovered where the saint was worshipped before he traveled to Tibet. The temple was located in an area that was busy and prosperous during the time Atish Dipankar taught there. Researchers unearthed a number of samples from what they believe is one of the oldest archaeological sites in India during a 50-day excavation. Pits filled with ash and pottery will help them with radiocarbon dating, while the discovery of the remnants of two roads and a 9.8-foot-tall wall showed they were once part of a wealthier area. Another remarkable discovery made at the site were a series of stupa, which were spiritual sites that contained relics of the Buddhist faith. The stupa complexes contained burial mounds built between the 10th and 11th century. Previously, archaeologists discovered a mound in the shape of an octagon that was very similar to larger octagon-shaped mounds located in previous digs. A rare memorial chamber in the center of the mound was a significant discovery, one that was important to Buddhist disciples as a place to practice their religion. As archaeologists continue to excavate and preserve these historical treasures, including the first protective wall built over the entire settlement, the state minister for cultural affairs hopes to develop the area as a tourist spot to share the important historical discoveries. Number 2. 
Mayan Ritual Caves When archaeologists went diving in a Mayan cave that had been untouched for a thousand years, they were stunned by what they found. A cache of ritual vessels were found inside the Jaguar God Cave in Yucatan, and researchers believe they may hold clues to the rise and fall of the Mayan Empire. The discovery was made beneath the ancient Mayan city of Chichen Itza, where a treasure trove of more than 150 ritual objects were located. The cave system known as the Jaguar God was originally discovered in 1966 by an archaeologist who wrote up a report saying that he had found an extensive amount of archaeological material inside. But instead of excavating the site, he had the entrance sealed and soon after, records of the discovery vanished. More than 50 years later, a group from the National Geographic, explorers who were researching the water table beneath Chichen Itza, rediscovered the hidden cave system. Investigators had to get creative to reach the site by crawling on their stomach through the tight tunnels for hours to reach the underground caverns. When they did, their efforts were rewarded with well-preserved offerings by the ancient residents of Chichen Itza, including incense burners, vases, decorated plates, and other objects found surrounded by stalagmites that had formed around them. Many of the objects were emblazoned with the face of the rain god Tlaloc, as well as the sacred tree that was a representation of the Maya universe. Caves and cenotes were considered an opening to the underworld and were highly sacred spaces for the Maya. The fact that they were in such a difficult location and the number of artifacts found points to the importance of the site. Number 1. Orkney Island Spheres Two 5,500-year-old polished stone spheres the size of a baseball were discovered in an ancient tomb north of mainland Scotland in the Orkney Islands. The balls vary in their design, with some ornately carved and others studded with projections. Some have also been found that are smoothly polished without any carvings or other distinctive features. The strange thing is, hundreds of similar stone balls have also been found in Neolithic sites in Scotland, England, Ireland, and Norway. Originally, they were believed to be used as weapons, though some believe they were used with ropes and lobbed at enemies for protection. But as archaeologists continue to study these strange stone balls, opinions have changed, with some thinking they were made to signify a person's status in their community or to commemorate an important part of their life. Although they may seem like simple objects, it would have taken a long time to polish the stone with water and another smaller stone to smooth the surface. Normally, the balls have been found separately, but this time, they were discovered in the corners of two different underground compartments where human remains were buried along with their objects like pottery. Interestingly, cremated human bones were found near the entrances to the Orkney Island tomb. Is it possible the ancient people of the island used these knives to separate the flesh from the bones of the dead who were buried there? Archaeologists still don't know the answer and continue to study the objects to determine their usage. But it's a race against time, as the tomb, located near the coast, is vulnerable to storms, forcing researchers to work as quickly as possible to remove all the objects for study. At the time the tomb was created, the Neolithic settlement would have been about one mile further from the coast than it is now. Experts will now conduct analysis of the data gathered to the excavations in the hopes of providing more information about the Neolithic people and why they buried these stone spheres with their dead. Thanks for watching. Which one of these mysterious archaeological discoveries fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time.